these doors open. I don't know, maybe we should start at the front. Okay, I'm gonna start at the front, I'm gonna go in though. We've got another eventful day on the hill. Seems pretty calm, right? That right there will be my new house. They are moving it in here, getting ready to bring it through the pasture here down to the driveway. That's it guys. So this is the back side of the house. No, I don't know. That might be the front side. But they're going to bring the front side in and put it over here. Kind of slide it over here close to the building so it's out of the way. And then set the back side up against the porch. And then move the front side back over there so they don't have a problem getting around the light pole or the other trees. Because this house is split in two. So that was in fact the front half of the house. They thought it parked here out of the way, so it would be back when can be brought in. Let's go see where they are. ready to live in after transport, but it should only be a few weeks. I'm hoping they get it done really, really fast. So they brought it up this way, and then now they're backing up that way by the light pole to get it real close to the porch. As close as possible. I don't, we don't know if the back porch is going to work out still, guys, with the way that the new house is built, but we left it there hopeful that we could make it work. So that is still up in the air. We don't know. That's 
far as we can go. I mean, you can go maybe a couple more inches, but yeah, as far uh, as that one is going. going. It looks wanna... great to me. Okay. Okay, you like that, so we're going to leave it there. <laughs> We got the door where it's between those two posts so that we could still go in and out, of course. This post is right on this side of the window, but this post is right in my window. They're gonna charge us some extra money, but they can. So tomorrow someone will come out and be able to actually lift the house up to where the eaves go over all of the tin and move it closer uh, to the porch and hopefully get rid of some of this gap we've got here on the bottom. Um, the thing is, I don't know if I want them to do that. I don't know if I want to see that post directly out my window, which I guess I could just keep the blinds closed. Right? But, well, uh, I think it'll be okay. I mean, maybe we could extend this porch out just a little bit. So I have an update for y'all on the house and it might be the last house update for a while because um, they got to set up the electricity now. They got to hook up the AC, the septic, all that fun stuff. Um, but I think they might have left the door unlocked. So I know that the trim out is not finished and everything is not, uh, you know, everything just doesn't look completely finished yet. But I think I can go give y'all a little tour, a little sneak peek before it's decorated and whatnot. But uh, first I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all the back porch, how we managed to work that out. Let's go look. Okay, so it took a little bit of fight, you know, a little bit of conversation, negotiation, but they were able, let me get over here where y'all can see it. They were able to get, the house moved down the 16 inches that we needed for the post to be on the outside of the window. So I don't have to see that when I open up my window. I'll just be able to look out onto the back porch. They uh, lifted the house up more and got it to where the tin was under the eave. So now with a little bit of flashing, we should be able to make it to where rain don't blow in there and run down the house and whatnot. And now I think I can go give y'all a little sneak peek inside. Let's see if this door's open. I don't know, maybe we should start at the front. Oh okay, I'm gonna start at the front, I'm gonna go in though. We are definitely gonna, obviously we were gonna move the TV anyways, but it'll have to be done pretty quick. <laughs> Okay, I came to the front. Here's my pretty red door. I'm so excited. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. So this is all the extra trim and stuff that they'll use to put if any is messed up. But this is the living room. And then these posts will be taken out of here after all that is put together and sealed up and stuff, you know. And you'll be able to go... You'll be seeing straight through to the kitchen and the dining room. There's no electricity right now, guys, but it's okay. Got my farmhouse sink. Come with my appliances. Apparently, I can't open this yet. Um, my fridge and freezer. This is where the laundry room is. Got plenty of room for my deep freeze. My washer and dryer will be delivered in the next couple of days. 
goes out the back door. Okay, okay, let's see. We've got second bathroom. This is our extra entertainment space. So my computer will go here. Laramie will have his desk in here with all of his office stuff. Got this cute little bar. I feel like I'm giving a tour of a house someone wants to purchase right now, but it's just my new one. I'm so excited. This is Carter's room and closet. This one will be Cash's room and closet. And then let's go this way. Oh, wait, wait, this is my favorite part right here. This is my favorite part of the whole house is the walk-in pantry. You know how much food I can put in here? I'll never run out of snacks. Get your priorities right, guys. You never want to run out of snacks. And then this will be the master bedroom and closet. And master bathroom. Come in. No electricity. Got the, the toilet room. Look at this shower. Look at this. I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited to move in here. I've got our little cabinets here, stand up mirror. I'm just really excited. I really probably shouldn't be in here right now, but a lot of you have asked to see the house and I wanted to share a little glimpse of that even though I'm not completely moved in yet. Well, I'm, well, I've not moved in at all. Actually, the house is barely even sitting here. But um, I wanted to show y'all, even though it's not decorated, nothing's done. I'm super excited and I can feel it getting closer and closer. So I know this wasn't probably a super interesting video and maybe nobody really cares. But I wanted to share it with y'all. And thank y'all so much for all the well wishes. And I love y'all. Happy birthday.